What is up guys? This is DW from OneHive 2.0 slash OneHive Invicta. Uh, I am here with our first Hog Rider series and I am visiting a clan called Assassin's Clove. Uh, level 8 clan. Uh, it is a fair play 3 star strategy clan uh, and they are strict on that. They don't want to see that go wipe. They don't want to see go wee wee. Uh, they want to see you put a solid effort into uh, a true three-star attempt here. Uh, these guys, these guys are pretty good. Um, I've been visiting with them for a while. They are some uh, some some classy guys in here. Uh, very respectable. Ooh, sorry about that. And uh, let's, I'll show you their warlog a little bit. And uh, a lot of green in here, guys. Lots of green. Uh, they have, I think, a total of only four losses. One, two, three, four. And two two ties before they came out with a tiebreaker, which uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they would have won that one by the, the base percentage there. Uh, not entirely sure. Uh, but, I mean, these guys, uh, very good, very uh, very detailed. They put a lot of effort into it, and they, do, they put a lot of effort into their structure uh, and fair play here. Uh, they're currently in a war right now. Uh, I, I, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Uh, but I'm, th these are their stats so far. Uh, 15 3 stars, 7 2 stars, and a 1. Uh, total of 88.5% uh, destruction. Uh, and they've been, they've been putting in work. Uh, there is, uh, there's a couple of attacks that I wanted to go over from these guys so you guys know what to expect if you do decide to apply uh, for Assassin's Cloak. Uh, the first one I want to go over was a Town Hall 10 attack from their number one. Uh, don't even try. Uh, he did three star Town Hall 10. Uh, he came in with uh, six golems, uh, 18 wizards, uh, and he did the, uh, the typical corner. Uh, he dropped uh, two golems on the top left, two golems in the center, and two golems on the bottom right. Uh, backed by uh, a bunch of wizards and his, his heroes. So once he gets all this cleared out, uh, he's going to drop those uh, two two jump spells to get him right into that gigantic core. Uh, me personally, I, 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 I'm against that. I think it's just way too susceptible to being three-starred. Uh, so don't even try. I mean, he planned this perfect. Uh, along with, look at his core right there. Uh, he's got two Infernos, two Teslas right in the same square. Uh, he And he gets just just amazing value out of that free spell. Uh, he was able to freeze at one point, I think it was three Teslas and two Infernos uh, with one free spell. Uh, so that, I mean, that paid off huge for him. Man. That paid big dividends. Uh, meanwhile, I mean, his heroes are just sitting back and just, tank and everything. He's, his queen is virtually untouched. Uh, he's got, he split his golems up, so everything was being tanked by those golems. Uh, I mean, his queen still had like, I think, 80% health all the way up until just now. Uh, and at this point, there's really not too much else that could take that queen out. I mean, he's got, I think, two or, he's got three golems down there uh, against one archer tower. Uh, and it's just, it's just w way too powerful. There's nothing this guy can do at this point in time. Uh, and I mean, he just he crushed this base, so uh, a good job. Uh, let me 2x this so you guys can see the three. And there we go. Uh, the next attack I wanted to go over, uh, it was from their leader uh, called Knight Rider. Uh, and he took on number 16. I liked this attack. I liked it a lot. Uh, when I first saw you know, I, I was a little shocked to see the troop comp here. 38 hogs. Uh, I mean, two giants, four wizards, and his heroes. Four heal spells and a poison. So, uh, I mean, I, obviously I kind of saw what he was going to do, but I was just uh, I was shocked to see that. Uh, so I'll play this, and he plays it very smart, actually. He uses, I think, like three th three hogs to lure the clan castle. Uh, and then he pulls them, he anchors down on that very top left corner with an archer on that dark elixir drill, and, uh, you know, over comes the dragon loons. And what I like here is he, he brought this back old school. Uh, 
he, he dropped the poison to help you know start softening up those the dragons and the balloons but he drops like he dropped his four archers uh two wizards and his archer queen and just completely takes out that clan castle while he's working on the clan castle he drops his suicide king over at the archer queen which is just a, a very cost effective one for one swap so all for the troop space i think it's like maybe 20 uh maybe 22 uh, three hogs, uh, two wizards, four archers. Um, right there at 20, he was able to take out the CC, the archer queen, uh, and just be able to wreck and not have to worry about those throughout his the rest of his attack. And then he just gets this Asian wall going with his hogs uh, and just takes it out, uh, completely crushes this base. Uh, I mean, his, his queen's still in full health. She's running clean up around the, the outside edge. He's got a wizard and a couple archers coming down from that 8 o'clock position. Uh, and he still has two more wizards in the bank uh, to use those for cleanup as well. So, I mean, he did a great job just crushing this base. Uh, and then I'll, I'll 2x this so we can see the three. Uh, great job, Knight. And there it is. Uh, last attack I'll go over with these guys. Uh, it was their number 12 hitting their number 20. Uh, I like this. Uh, it was deceiving for me at first. When I first looked at this troop comp down here, uh, but, I mean, right off the bat, I was thinking clean walk. Uh, four healers, a typical goho troop comp, uh, and a high level queen. I was thinking he was just going to walk that queen around. Uh, but he actually uses all four of those healers with his kill squad. Uh, comes in from up here at this 9, 10 o'clock position with a golem, sets a couple wizards down for, for his funnel, uh, and then once he breaks through the wall, uh, he's got those four healers right there just just backing up these golems. And, uh, I mean, they, they put in a lot of work. They last a lot longer for that reason. Uh, he, they were, he, he was able to get in quick, take out that archer queen, and um, that air defense right there, which was shooting at, at his healers. So he's able to get that out quick, drops a Rage, uh, and then he just kind of comes in, kind of surgical here, kind of not. Uh, typical three, four hogs per uh, per defensive structure, and they just circle around. Uh, while that healer is working on those golems and everything is shooting at the golems, these hogs are taking out almost half the base virtually untouched. Um, so I, I, I kind of thought that was pretty cool. I was expecting the queen walk, but uh, I mean, he... He played it. He played it perfect, and uh, I mean, he walks away with a three star here. He even has a an extra heal, covers him up top to get those uh, that that splash defense whiz tower. There's a couple single points there. We all know how archer towers can chew through hogs, uh, as well as the the wizard towers. And I mean, he's still got. I think he has two golems up there. Yeah, both his his golems are still at full health. So I mean, I mean, those healers paid off huge. Uh, and they kept those those golems in the game to do the tanking for those hogs. So um, it, was, it was pretty well planned out, pretty well executed. And uh, he walked away with a three star. So uh, great job, Coot Shooter. I'll 2x this so you guys can see the three. And there it is. So, uh, I mean, I hope you guys take a, take a look at these guys, check them out. Uh, they, they are recruiting right now. They close every once in a while. Uh, but uh, I mean, look at their war record right there, 186 and 9. Uh, so these guys, are, these guys have been putting in work. Uh, very good group of guys here. Very respectable, too. Um, very classy. So, uh, I mean, these guys are recruiting right now. They're looking for Town Hall 9s. Uh, they do... Actually, I don't believe they're looking for any more Town Hall 10s. Uh, but, I mean, I think if you if your numbers are right, I, I don't. they might not tell you no. Uh, they did not say they were not looking for 10s, but I did hear a conversation of them looking for, t for Town Hall 9s. So, uh, again, the clan's name is Assassin's Clove. Uh, there is the clan tag, uh, if you want to look them up via their clan tag and, uh, you know, give these guys a shot, man. They'll be able to help you. They'll be able to help guide you in the right direction. 
and uh, they'll definitely become uh, a very good new home for anybody looking for a good fair play war clan. So uh, that's it from Do Work Son, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, again, if you want your clan to be uh, record, if you, to be featured in a video, please uh, drop your your clan information down on the website, and uh, maybe you'll get a visit from uh, somebody over at One Hive 2.0. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and remember, always do work.